Morning, there is a new bill in the state legislature that could give mountain communities another tool to fight rising cost of living. Yeah, this would allow counties to put lodging taxes on the ballot for voters to decide on. And as our Spencer Wilson explains, that would allow counties to decide where to spend that money. It can also allow counties to spend money on trail improvements, like adding restrooms to trailheads. But the main focus is getting to spend money on things they actually need, instead of having to spend that money on trying to get more people to come to the mountains. A 2% lodging tax. You might see it tacked onto a hotel receipt. All this bill does is give counties or local marketing districts the permission to go to their voters to ask for a change or to impose this uh, lodging tax in the first place. And then it will be up to the individual county when they write that ballot question as to decide where the revenue should go. Right now, lodging taxes can only go towards tourism and marketing, while other glaring issues like affordable workforce housing are desperate for financial support. Sponsors are hoping the bill will give them the flexibility to spend that money where they really need it. We're seeing businesses that have to be closed multiple days a week because they don't have adequate staffing. That's not providing this excellent visitor experience. The idea being there's less of an incentive to market the mountains if people can't even afford to work or live there. I think we are at a real tipping point in our mountain communities where if we don't do something uh, serious and, and transformational when it comes to housing and other workforce needs, we're going to lose the workers we need to run our businesses and to keep our communities going. Asking tourists to help them keep the communities healthy and worth saving. 2% is a very small amount of tax that can really go a long way towards uh, supporting our communities. This bill has bipartisan support, and if everything goes as the sponsors hope it does, it should end up on Governor Pulse's desk by the end of March. In Summit County, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado First.